Now, I saw a post for Joe Coy, and tell me if this is true. Did you used to watch his kid when he was on stage? Yep. I used to babysit his kid while he was on stage. Yep. So he was bringing his son to the Laugh Factory and the comedy clubs? Yeah, he was bringing his son to the Laugh Factory, and when he would be on stage, I would be upstairs uh, watching the baby. And then when he came back, then he got his baby back. But his baby loved me. And now he a grown man. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I used to hold that baby on my heart and make sure he go to sleep. And like, yeah. There's stories like that that people don't don't hear enough of. Uh, we, like, we, we talked enough about the mudslinging. But when Joe posted that, I mean, it just, honestly, it makes you root for him and you that much more. Joe used to look out for me so tough. I would be, I was homeless, and I think I only told him and one other person that I was homeless, and I was hungry one day. And he's like, Tiffany, you hungry, aren't you? And I was like, you can see it in my eyes? <laughs> he's like, yeah. And he was like, let's go across the street and get you one of them hot dogs wrapped in bacon. And I, to me, he was a god when he bought me that hot dog. Like anything he ever, like I was always trying to help him. After that, because yeah. like the fact that he fed me and noticed that I was in, um, that I was hungry, like it, yeah. it meant to me like he cared. Yeah, Joe always had a good heart and spirit about him from jump. <laughs> Joe's funny. Around that same time for 2003, 2004, he called me, and you know Joe was kind of open mic, hadn't hit that much, wasn't selling tickets, right. and uh, and you know I was I was like a middle of the road headliner, let's say, you know. And uh, he goes, he said, yo, I got this hookup with this shoe company, man. Come down here. So I come to downtown LA, and Joe, for some reason, had the hookup with Pony. <laughs> I remember, not Nike, not Adidas, not Reebok. It was Pony. Pony. I was like, where the fuck did you even find Pony, first of all? <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. I was rocking ponies for about six months. T-shirts, <laughs> shorts, shoes, and then... Some of it I felt like, oh, I'm, I'm going to start my own trend. So I called Joe up, like, hey, man, I'm town. Can I come down to the pony factory? There's a little pony factory downtown. I go, how the hell did Joe get hooked up with pony? Well, <laughs> Joe's never partially hit. Asian, and I'm sure there's some Asian guys that run that. This conversation will end up on the front page of Google. Oh, this like shit, this. This really? shit is going to be viral. Okay. I hope. I mean, I'm not saying I don't, but I hope it's for the right reasons. Tiffany has <laughs> claims... Tiffany Haddish claimed, let me, let me think Tiffany, of something crazy to say. Hold on. Tiffany ha just found out Tiffany Haddish is Joe Coy's son's mother. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which Little is a long-running joke I've had with his son. Like, I'm your real mama. I know that lady says she your mama, but you see how your hair slightly curl? That's because I'm your real mama. But I was yeah. homeless, so your daddy took me from you and said this other lady your mama. And Joe says he always asks him, am I really black, dad? Am I black? <laughs> 